gentlemen welcome to ring the bell wrestling 2007 your favorite blast from the past i'm of course just joined tonight by dom as always and we got a great show for you tonight as team sexy of the great Kali and umaga oh, oh, take wait on a sec, wait a sec Ooh, wait whoa. we're getting a call okay all right we're getting word that snitsky is just unprovokedly attacked dusty roads but why? I I don't don't if I knew I could tell you I have no idea what's going on right now. Snitsky's just <laughs> Snitsky's just been on a complete rampage ever since returning to uh, debuting here in RTPW. Yeah, I mean we've oh you opened up the thing. Yeah, I mean ever since uh, I mean he did lose last week to Dusty Rhodes, so maybe that might have something to do with it. Yeah, he might be trying to get some payback here. And here we go, and another um, <laughs> modified, uh, whatever that move is. Snitsky's favorite move, we call that the uh, the up on the joystick. Uh, <laughs> great, great, to know, great to know that uh, Snitsky working on his submissions in the parking lot. Oh! Oh! Right into the first car. Into, into the hood of the car. And so, so, folks, again, we don't know what's going on with Snitsky. We can only assume this is revenge from last week. Um, <laughs> yeah, revenge that, revenge that the new Hulkamaniacs will not be challenging for the tag team championships. Ooh, right back. In. Uh oh. And another and one. Oh, the... right back down. Yeah, we can only assume that it is revenge for the new Hulkamaniacs. Um, we will have to get word as this goes on. Of course, Dusty is. Uh, you're supposed to see over uh, some matches tonight but I don't think he'll be able to make it out tonight let alone oh oh ow let alone in the the future yeah we we were expecting Dusty Rhodes to accompany his fellow oh. team sexy members but ow. Snitsky just getting just laying in the smackdown on Dusty Rhodes here and here he goes right into that that control panel on the fire um, truck why do we have a fire truck? Just... Oh, that's, uh, that's just in case. You never know. Yeah, I, I guess so. You never you never know what to expect here in Ring the Bell Wrestling 2007. Uh-oh. Wait oh, a sec. No. It's Nitsuki's favorite thing. It's poo- oh. All of the fecal matter all over Dusty's body. Oh, oh. That is disgusting. That is so gross. Oh. It's starting to smell the arena, too. Oh, it's starting to like float in. Oh, wait a sec. We've seen that we've seen Snitsky do this before. Oh no. Yes we have. Oh, oh a low blow there by Snitsky. Oh no. What's Snitsky gonna do? He's climbing up farther. What he's is... gotta be he's gotta be at least like 30 feet in the air oh, oh oh my god he just full-on elbow dropped dusty from a mile away that was oh that was that hurts i cannot believe i cannot believe snitsky uh took that risk i mean <sighs> snitsky's just a path of rage at this point, I, and there it is! The big boot uh, busting open Dusty Rhodes. And folks, I don't know what to say about Dusty. We're gonna have to get a medical, we're gonna, oh, okay, no, now we're coming back. Folks, in our opening matchup tonight is gonna be Trevor Murdoch taking on Brad Pugh. Yeah, of course, Brad Pugh, his first singles matchup here 
in Ring the Bell 2007, and he's going up against the sexiest of the sexy, Mr. Trevor Murdoch. Yeah, of course, Trevor Murdoch going all the way to the finals of the, uh, of the number one contenders tournament that ended at our last show, No Mercy. Unfortunately for Trevor, he was unable to successfully defeat Umaga. Uh, henceforth, tonight's main event, of course, if you remember, Umaga and the Great Khali are fighting. Uh, Charles Chungus and Large Martinez, the winning team, not only picks the stipulation for the Battle of the Giants 2, but the winning team also, uh, rather Umaga or Charles Chungus, gets to become the, uh, the, the true number one contender, at least for SummerSlam. Yeah, of course. But let's not look over this match here. Trevor Murdoch, even though he was unsuccessful in the world title tournament, Still on much of a roll ever since retrieving that magical wand by Dusty Rhodes. Yeah, and I guess uh, I completely agree with you. He had a, a long streak of victories uh, until that loss, and he wants to keep the ball rolling here. But ladies and gentlemen, introducing next, it's Brad Pugh. Yeah, Brad Pugh, fresh off the streets, the mean streets of Boston, Massachusetts. Yeah, this guy is the real deal. He was, look how many tattoos he has. <laughs> His entire back's almost a different color. Yeah, of course. It looks it looks very it looks very interesting. I I don't envy this guy's style in in tattoos at all. <laughs> I've got to say, whoever um whoever he gets the uh, the tattoos from somewhere in Boston, I gotta say, I gotta I I mean, I love the guy's bank account. I don't love his work. I'll say. But either way, Brad Pugh, more than just a man with tattoos, of course he did lose. I'm going back in my notes here, Don. And he did lose in week number four, I believe. One second, I'm just trying to final back there. Um, yeah, it was week four. He lost to um, Jimmy Chimmel. Which is also another name we haven't heard from in a while. Yeah, so. Jimmy Chimmel recovering from what appears to be a groin injury, and <laughs> we wish we wish Jimmy Chimmel. Um, that was not funny. I'm all sorry. the all the best. Looking forward. Brad Pugh just immediately going out to the outside. He's Interesting really... strategy against the brawler Trevor oh, Murdoch. But he's able to land a couple strikes early on, so maybe that strat worked. And now Murdoch, to, oh, but the Wu Tang is pressed, which he calls the Wu Tang press, by the way. Uh, very, very interesting. And now Brad Pugh in control. As of right now, a huge chop to Murdoch, but he eat the chop and gives a nice clubbing forearm to the back. And now Murdoch trying to gain control back once again. Yeah, Trevor Murdoch with a low blow right in front of Nick Patrick. Nick Patrick giving him an earful, but deciding not to ring the bell <laughs> because we got we got precious TV time to fill. Yeah, Lord knows we got to hit the 45 minute mark on here, otherwise <laughs> we start losing advertising. Of course, you can buy any T-shirt you want at EWTs.com, but we move on. We digress. As Trevor Murdoch gets shoulder tackle, shoulder block rather. By Brad Pugh, you have to say he looked very interesting in his first matchup. And oh, never mind. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Trevor, Trevor Murdoch with that, with that ball-based offense. He is going, early on. Yeah, straight for scrotum offense. Um, Dom, who do you have in this matchup? Well, I got, I gotta go with Trevor Murdoch. He's been on a bit of a roll, and Brad Pugh hasn't been hasn't been around in the past six weeks, so. We'll have to we'll have to see if there's any ring rust there for Cute. Of course, with everything going on in the world, Brad Cute has not been able to wrestle elsewhere. Of course, we would again like to thank our sold-out arena here in Kansas City, Kansas. Over 25,000 people packed into this arena. Yeah, of course, the the great city of Kansas City having a great great warm welcome here for Ring the Bell Wrestling first time we've ever been here and a giant backbreaker there by Pute. Yeah, Pute in complete control as now, oh, huge right hand 
another right okay so Dom I'm getting word in my headset that Dusty Rhodes has suffered two broken ribs and a concussion oh yep. oh dear from from the attack earlier by Snitsky therefore coming up right after this match we are going to have two teams yes two teams competing for the spot that Dusty originally was supposed to have oh I, I'm in complete shock. Yeah, so it looks like it's going to be the Young Lions and the Mexicals. I believe there could be a third team involved. We're going to have to... Oh, no! Oh. Trevor Murdoch going shoulder first into the post. Reminding yeah, us that there's Mur action in the ring. Trevor Murdoch going for the home run here. But I, I feel very bad for... For Team Sexy losing out on possibly becoming the first ever tag team champions. Yeah, of course we know Dusty, Kali, Umaga, all of them have been a staple in the tag team division since the beginning, since our first show. And uh, it's a shame that they are not going to be able to make it to the first ever tag team titles match, but I can assure you that there will be a day uh, of reckoning, at least for Dusty Rhodes. Now, Trevor Murdoch back in control. He has all the momentum on his side. Big knee to the gut. Oh, Murdoch countered. And yeah, a nice reversal there. And now, Pew with a nice modified double chicken wing lock. Yeah, Pew immediate couldn't get a good grip on, had to release it very, very quickly. But you, know, you see him holding Pew's his hurt. ribs there. Yeah, Pute's really hurting right bad right now. Now here we go. Murdoch with the under and rakes the arm. Slamming Brad Pute back on the map. Here we go. Pump kick! Yeah, mean pump kick there by Trevor Murdoch. Murdoch in full control. It's just standing over Pew. I was going to say, Pew looks going like he's knocked cover. out. He looked knocked out. I, I don't think he's breathing right. Yeah, that's it. An impressive win by Trevor Murdoch. Uh, uh, continuing his hot streak here in Ring the Bell 2007. Yeah, Murdoch coming away with a huge victory tonight. Gotta say, putting him back on the right path after suffering that first loss. Yeah, um, of course, but but I'm I'm truly worried here about that massive punt that Trevor Murdoch just just gave to Pute there. Okay, yeah, so what? folks, here is the match officially. Sorry, I was just getting confirmation from the powers that be. The Mexicals and the Young Lions will be competing, and the winner of this match will meet the Pitbulls uh, at SummerSlam for the tag team title. Yeah, of course. Um, a complete, complete advantage for for either of these teams getting a what I believe is a third opportunity here to to compete for the tag team championships. Yeah, we are told that Snitsky once again is on uh, suspension, uh, and uh, of course, you know by association Nick Hogan will not be competing tonight for that tag team opportunity. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That, that's the reason why they're gone. Snitsky, we might not see him for a while. Yeah, and of course. Here we go. The Young Lions, Morgan Wolf, and Oliver Bisping. They're looking to become the first ever tag team champions. And the Young Lions, um, very mixed results here in Ring Without Wrestling. They had a, what many believe is be a three-on-one advantage against Johnny Nitro for the number one contendership two months ago, and they squandered it away, actually. Yeah, all three members falling victim to Johnny Nitro, of course, now Nitro being the world champion, having all of the power, and unfortunately we did cut his interview last week, and he's still a little mad at us for that. It's fine. It's, we'll get over it. Say that he's still at the bar to this day. <laughs> still drinking tequila. Um, Dom, who do you have in this matchup? Um, well, I got I gotta go with the Mexicals. I believe I believe they're the most ex they're the more experienced and 
hungry tag team here at the moment. So I'm gonna go with the Mexicals. Oh, and put a nice Insiguri there by Morgan Wolf. Yeah, we all know the Mexicals. This is actually their third opportunity at this match. The Young Lions, this is their second. Because uh, only Bisping was allowed in that second match. I did remember yep. that from earlier. So this is Bisping's second opportunity here. And it looks like right now that the RTBW07 universe really is going for the Young Lions. It's super crazy. Nice pinning combination, but broken up by the ropes. Yeah, and, and remember the third the third member, um, Dan Masters, will be competing. will have his own match at SummerSlam. That is right. He will be uh, competing in the first ever $3 million ladder match against Nick Hogan. Yep. There will be a briefcase above the ring, and inside is $3 million cash money. And hopefully Dan Masters will be able to take it down against Nick Hogan. And, and of course, Dan needs that $3 million from Nick Hogan in order to pay for the lawyers and pay for all of yeah. his fines for cussing up a storm last week on air. Cussing and up a storm, his no naughty... Everything. And no showing. Completely dis disrespected the last few weeks here at the Ring the Bell Wrestling. And we would like to apologize on behalf of Dan Matthews. And on the behalf of Nick Hogan, too. You can't... As much as, as much as I would like to drag Dan in the mud, you have to put some of the blame on Nick Hogan. As speaking of blame, we got to blame Super Crazy for missing that punch on Morgan Wolf. Morgan Wolf now Irish whip into the corner. Super crazy though. He's going for it. Bisping's out of the ring. One. Oh, he gets two and back in. Bisping breaks it up oh. at two and nine tenths. Yeah, Bisping got there just at the nick of time. It seems like. The young Lions. Oh, Morgan has him on his shoulders. And a nice attitude adjustment from the man with probably the biggest attitude. Yeah, of course. Attitude. The the biggest attitude of all the young lions, Morgan Wolf. And now Bisbing. Bisbing, uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's just watching Morgan Wolf get <laughs> double team. Yeah, Bisbing walks out of the way for, for both of the Mexicans to go tag team style all over his partner, Morgan Wolf, and now Psychosis in control here. Super crazy with the takedown. Psychosis would go behind her, count around like scissors. Everything's going on right now. Yeah, and just a reminder to anyone new to Ring the Bell 2007, all matches, all tag team matches are tornado tag matches. That is there are no tags in any kind of tech, in any kind of team format. Yeah, if there's multiple people in the ring, you best be betting that there's no tagging going on. I think that's, uh, that's on a t-shirt. I don't know. But either way now, Oliver Bisping has the front headlock. Psychosis with the counter. He goes behind with a nice float over neck breaker. Yeah, nice neck breaker there. Psychosis getting Bisping into the middle of the ring. Might be going for a cover. No, wait a sec. He's got it. It's the lasso from Psycho Paso. He has it locked in. Oh, never mind. I, I believe I believe that is an Indian death block, oh. actually. Hey, he's Hispanic. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> Either way, whatever he is. A nice... Oh, wait a sec. He's got it. Roll up. Roll up with this thing. Able to break it. <laughs> Happened to be throwing super crazy in the same direction. Able to break up the count. And now the young lions are in control. You go big right hand from Bisping. Yeah, nice right hand there by Bisbing, but just oh, crazy going up the top. He's got the moonsault. No, oh, and he barely misses. Oh, I believe he got him with his feet, but then again, I don't, I don't think he got. He All certainly of, didn't get any. Yeah, we as saw as much as he wanted to. We saw the same thing last week with Super Crazy missing that moonsault. Of course, the moonsault being his finisher, not able to get all of it. Now, Morgan Wolf, anyone can do a it's, Russian leg sweep. Yeah, of course, anyone. Even even a Brit can do a Russian leg sweep. Uh-oh, reversal there by Super Crazy and a nice drop kick by Psychosis. 
perfect slow motion drop kick. Here we go. Stunner! Reduction stunner from Psychosis. Yes, yeah, stunner to Bisbing. This could be it. Could be or, or he just pins him right in front of Morgan Wolf, who takes down Nick Patrick. Yeah, but watch it come out. Uh oh. Wait a sec. There it is! The wolf bite. Plunge thing. Uh oh. Yeah, mean wolf plunge into the cover, but Nick Patrick's down. Nick's down. Oh, and Psychosis breaks it up. Before Nick Patrick, he could even see what was going on. Uh-oh, he might be going for another cover. Yeah. This has been going out of the ring again for some reason. Oh, but it works. Psychosis now. Oh, man. Atomic drop. Morgan yeah, Wolf, I mean, two on drop. one in the and ring. A nice uppercut there by Morgan Wolf. I will say this, out of all the young lions... Uh-oh, wait Morgan, a second. Uh-oh. Wolf bite! Yeah, another wolf bite. This could be it. Oh, Psychosis, Psychosis. smartly going after Morgan. He was going to go for cover. Yeah, he got he beat him to the punch, literally. Psychosis now. Morgan Wolf, is, he's on fire today. This man can do no wrong in the ring. Yeah, of course. What a what a great tag match here tonight. Uh, Morgan with another atomic drop there to keep it crazy. Oh, and an abominable like, stretch. He's got the stretch, Psychosis. Trying to get his gut back in check right there. If yeah, it rearranged earlier taken, on that wolf bite. Psychosis has taken, I believe, two wolf bites. That's true. If my memory serves me correct, I also counted two. Oh, a mean DDT there by Bisbing. Morgan running into the corner, whipping him into the other one. He's just trying to give Psychosis whiplash or something. And now Crazy whips Bisbing into the, 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 the corner, but he's not able to do anything about it. Psychosis now go behind. On the other side, and there's no way he's picking him up. Yeah, this being a heavy 290 oh. pounds, but here we go. A, a third wolf bite and a spear by Bisbing. All at the same time, it looks like the Young Lions might have this one. Two and three, that is it. He got him. An impressive win there by the Young Lions. And a very entertaining and well thought tag team contest here tonight. As the Young Lions move on to Summer Slam. Now both of these will be the first ever tag team champions. Yeah, so gotta give both teams credit. Neither one of them came prepared for this matchup, but the Young Lions stepped up and are now going on to fight the Pitbulls come Summer Slam. Your winner, the Young Lions. Oh, wait a sec, we're backstage now. Oh! What? Oh, okay. low blow. Wait a sec. All right, so that's Apollo Crews. Of course, Apollo Crews at the end of last week's episode uh, pinned uh, Jason D. Davis for the Hardcore Championship, and now Davis looks to be trying to get it back. Of course, this title is contested anywhere at any time. Yeah, Jason D. Davis, uh, ironically, paying little attention after he was able to steal the, the champion from Jake Montana. Yeah, coincidentally. And now Apollo Cruz and Jason are fighting in the bar area. Of course, this is normally where we do our interviews. Uh, tonight, however, it is the set for uh, uh oh. Oh, wow, the SmackDown poster in the neck. Yeah, laying the SmackDown on Apollo Cruz. <laughs> oh, I like that. That was good. You know, Jason, he's got the Irish whip, and it goes nowhere. Wait a sec. Yeah, it goes in the, into the void, apparently. Yeah, but then he hits the dartboard, and it looks like he's setting up for a slingshot. Uh-oh. This could be bad. You could say that was a bullseye. All right, let's not get too cocky there, sport. <laughs> now, here we go. Jason now choking away the life of Apollo Crews, looking to get the upper hand looking to get his title back yeah i'm being told that uh that we are gonna have an interview here with apollo cruz here in a bit but jason d davis uh getting there first and trying to regain his championship yeah i mean thank the lord we got cameras back there already who are ready for this okay and also just a friendly reminder that this this title can be just changed by knockout um, when you're not, when there is no referee present, knockout does, uh, does count. 
Fun fact. I don't yeah. know if anybody's Apollo told you Cruz. that. Yet. Apollo Crews just whipping Jason into the jukebox. Yeah, now Apollo Crews in control after Jason really, for the last couple of minutes, has just destroyed Apollo from behind. Yeah, Apollo Crews uh, coming back here on Jason D. Davis after being blindsided. But Dave, oh, don't, series don't series give anything kicks. away to Jason. Now here we go, Irish whip into the counter. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, and a low blow. Jason just really, if, really aiming for those nuts. Even if there was a referee, I'm pretty sure Nick Patrick wouldn't care. That's true. He usually doesn't care about any of that stuff. And there you go, a series of Irish whips into the the counter. Now it looks like Jason wants to get on the counter, but it's a little too slippery from sweat. Yeah, um... J Jason, Jason, a very uh -oh. Jason, I don't believe it's been to oh, a oh, backstabber KO. So Jason has regained the hardcore championship, and now he is celebrating here at the R uh -huh. RTPW bar. Wait a sec. Wait, no, Davari, oh. Davari's here. It's Davari, Davari taking advantage. We, are, we haven't seen Davari since his loss to Tre uh, to to Umaga at No Mercy, yeah. and now Davari in complete control over an unknowing Davis. Okay, we saw this last week. Davis celebrating a little prematurely, ah. and a thick kick followed by a low blow, and that's it. Yeah, you can tell he's knocked out now. Davari has has won the Hardcore Championship. And now he's and Davari now celebrating, but Davari has to get out of there. Um, yeah, folks, you, you don't know, you don't know any who who's gonna be around any corner. But anyway, coming up next, the pirate himself, Paul Burchill, will take on the man called Vito. <laughs> and now, uh, yes, Vito for the act in action for the first time in months. We haven't seen him on uh, our TV's Big Vito in a long time. Uh, his last loss was actually teaming alongside Paul Virgil against Team Sexy. Yeah, of course. Um, Vito, not... Oh, Paul's already in the ring, by the way, because you know his entrance is 30,000 years long. Well, yeah, well, they, they assumed, they assumed uh, with TV time, uh, we had to cut it out. Plus all that hardcore action, you know, really, um, really takes up a huge chunk. But Vito, looking to get back on the right track, as he faces Paul Burchill, right now, oh, almost right now, right now. There it is. Yeah. Oh, a right, mean right hand there to v by Vito. Vito, Vito getting, oh. getting fu'd there by Paul Burchill. Man, man just going straight for it right there and now here we go he's got the face lock and a nice modified Russian leg sweep yeah as anyone even a pirate can do a Russian leg sweep and now here we go he's got the go behind and a nice abdominal stretch yeah very smart here by Paul Burchill <laughs> And now, down a little stretch. Let's see what. Okay, Vito now trying to come back. He's got the lockup. He's got. He just. He landed the right hand, but Virgil now is a little angry. He's going out of there. Fisherman suplex. Yeah, mean fisherman suplex there by Paul Virgil. Oh, but Vito with a rake to the eyes, trying to do anything to get back in this contest. And now we are back to almost even. And now here we go. He's got a nice super kick. Yeah, mean super kick there. Now here we go. He's going for it. The pirate stretch. Yeah, mean pirate stretch here by Paul Burchill. This could be it easily. Uh, folks, we are, we're losing Dom right now. Uh, unfortunately, we will try. I think somebody just messed with his headset. We will try to get him back as soon as possible. Uh, Okay, wait, Dom, are you there? I am. There you are. We lost you for a good few few seconds there. 
Uh, you sound like a real robot. Uh, it, was, it was scary times. You, you never, you never know when those, when those robots will start and jump and attack you. you now, boom! A big DDT from the pirate. Speaking of uh, Halloween costumes, Dom, who are you gonna be for Halloween this year? What Ring the Bell superstar are you gonna dress as? Well, I'm gonna be. I believe I'm gonna be the, the A-lister himself, Nick Hogan for Halloween. <laughs> wow, that's such a, a great pick that nobody's going to like. You're not gonna get any candy. Let me tell you. Well, well, obviously I'll get I'll get all the candy with the great movie star that is Nick Hogan. Well, I will say, Dom, I know that we're supposed to be an unbiased table, but I have my Charles Chungus mask ready for Halloween, and I'm very excited to go dress as our former world champion. Yeah, of course. Our main event here tonight: Charles Chungus teaming with Large Martinez to take on Team Sexy with implications that will go into them into SummerSlam. Oh, wait a sec. Pirate Stretch locked in again in the center of the ring. This could be it. Uh oh it's, Yeah, this could be it. Also, folks, make sure to take pictures of yourself out on Halloween this year dressed as your favorite Ring the Bell Wrestling 2007 superstar for a free t-shirt. Just make sure to tag us on, t on Twitter. Yeah, of course. Um, what what is this? What is this thing you call Twitter? Well, it is 2007, so this is a small startup company that you can use for 140 characters or less. Ah, uh, I, I I I I don't I feel that's too short. How am you I ever going to get my message well, off? Speaking of short, oh, never mind. I thought he was going to go for the the pirates plunge there. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I had the transition set up and everything. Big moon salt. Yeah, big moonsault there by Paul Birchall. He could probably go for a cover. And I, I think he heard you, because there he yeah. is. Hook of the <laughs> close leg, and three, that is it. Yeah, he, he definitely heard me over here at the commentary desk. Uh, your winner, um, Ira Paul Birchall. Paul Birchall, of course, so sweaty. You can see the sweat dripping off of him after that match. Great stuff from the presidential pirate. Of course, he now back on his winning ways after his loss at No Mercy. Yeah, a very hard, hard fought win by our Paul Virgil. And ho hopefully, he can keep this momentum and get back in a title picture of sort. Uh, hopefully. Oh, no. Here he actually. Oh, yay. Here he comes. He is our hardcore champion, Davari. Davari. He's coming out to celebrate and to gloat. Yeah. Yeah, and the crowd oh, wait a is second. loving no, it. No, that's Dominic Guerrero with the cover. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He just hit the fire with the cover. Oh, my God. Guys, the fire oh God. God. God, is under the car. Oh, no. He's doing the oh low man. Oh, man. The oh, man. The God. No, the ribs. The ribs of Davari. Guys, I know you can't see this, but Davari is bleeding under that car. Oh, oh, oh. my God. Oh, oh. D Dominic Guerrero. Oh. What the heck is going on? And there he is. He's going to roll him over. That's going to be it. And Nick Patrick. Nick Patrick comes to three. Oh, my God. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your new winner after vehicular manslaughter. It's You're Dominic Guerrero. <laughs> I can't believe what I just saw. Davari is literally dying. <laughs> trying to get back in the ring and he can't. Oh, look at his back. Of course your back hurts. You just got hit by a car. Oh my God! We need another. We need another ambulance. Guys, of course this is totally legal, 100%. Um, Dominic Guerrero, your new champion, folks. We're gonna have to compose ourselves here because it is now time for our main event. Is Team Sexy taking on Chungus and Martinez with huge implications towards both of their SummerSlam matches? Yeah, of course. Um. The winner, the winners of this match get, um, if Large Martinez and Charles Chungus win as Team Sexy is coming out here, um, they, um, Charles Chungus will be added to the World Heavyweight Championship match at SummerSlam, and Large Martinez will be able to pick his, his type of match against the Great Khali. That is true. 
of course, neither men have uh, decided to make their their um, their match types, their match stipulations rather known to the other person. So it's all gonna come out uh, when the match is over. I actually, have a card that both of them sent. Both of them sent me really nice greeting cards that actually have their stipulation on them. So that would be that would be fun for me to read. Oh, oh, quite. They, I, I, I appreciate that they, they send you stuff, but not me. Well, what can I say? I don't, I don't, I don't want to, uh, you know, I don't want to brag, but I'm a pretty big deal around here. Uh, also, so point. are you. So I don't actually don't know that logic. You're the one who books all the shows, maybe, according to our intro. And coming out next, the seven foot five beast himself he is Large Martinez. Of course, Large Martinez looking for revenge after the Battle of the Giants won at No Mercy. Large Martinez put up a huge fight against the Great Kali, but it was not enough. Kali able to take advantage of this young upstart giant. Oh, man, he's huge. But, um, you know, Martinez looking to, uh, looking to get back into his winning ways. Yeah, um, before Great Kali, Large Martinez just completely steamrolled everyone here in RTPW. Yeah, but he, he undefeated. He ran into yeah, he ran into a brick wall known as the Great Kali. And now that brick wall is staring at him from the other side of the ring. You gotta say I'm a huge fan of whatever stipulation I got I got both stipulations right here. Both are uh, both are pretty great. Now, but speaking of great, here comes our first ever Ring the Bell 2007 champion. It is Charles Chungus. Yeah, Charles Chungus looking to get back into the title on uh, looking to get into the title match at SummerSlam against Umaga and the world champion himself, Johnny Nitro. Uh, you know, who the, the Bookers that be did not anticipate Chungus losing that title and therefore no, did not have a uh, uh, a, a backup plan in case there are two number one contenders, and of course now Chungus has to fight his way back into SummerSlam. And we'll see how this goes here, folks. Charles Chungus, the heart and pride of RTBW07. You gotta love it. This crowd, sold out crowd, is on their feet, and so are the people inside the Ring the Bells Wrestling Universe chat. Dom, who do you yeah, have going in this match? Well, I gotta go with Team Sexy as they are the the, oh, the most wait a experienced second. team. Oh my god! Power bomb! Power bomb lifting the Great Kali like it's nothing and immediately <laughs> just floating okay. out of the ring. We're gonna say the mind games of, of Large Martinez. And wait a sec. I'm getting... Yeah. Folks, Gavari is past the... What? That's not true. That can't be true. Um, ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm, ge I'm getting word that... That Gavari has died. Gavari... Passing away after Dominic Guerrero... <laughs> ran him over with his low rider. Wow. Well, folks, that just shows you how insane our hardcore division is here at Ring the Bell Wrestling 07. As Large Martinez with a huge low blow onto Umaga. As Charles Chungus, look, uh oh, wait a second, Umaga now coming back with a huge slam of his own. Yeah, I mean, slam there by Umaga. And, oh, sorry about that. Someone just smacked their desk. And here we go, we're getting close now. Umaga now taking. Oh. Okay, everybody's just fighting each other in the middle of the ring there. Yeah, Greg Kali on Charles Chungus right now. Oh, but Chungus, Chungus keeping his own. Remember, he was the first ever World Heavyweight Champion here in Ring the Bell Wrestling 2007. But he cannot lift the big man in Greg Kali. Yeah, I mean, it is a, a call. It is a hard task to lift Kali. Let's not make it easy. I know, friggin'. Uh, Lunch Martinez did in the first opening seconds of the match, but that is not an easy feat for a normal man. Or even a great man, like Chungus. 
now Umaga has all the momentum on his side a nice punch to the face Umaga in control same thing uh oh wait a sec he grabbed a big spike the spike to Charles Chungus and he is down for the kill Here we go, big Chungus, back in control, no just kidding, he's, he's back on the ground again, that was so so close, now here we go, Martinez now coming behind the great Kali, Kali caught in it, and a nice Russian like sweep from the, the, the Indian himself, you know Kali has all the momentum on his side, we'll see who he chooses to attack next, and it's probably going to be Chungus, seeing as how he's the only man in the ring right now. Umaga scoop slam. Oh, oh, wait a sec. He's coming. He's got it. Big chop. Yeah, me in chop there. Uh oh, into the cover. Oh, he tried to pin Umaga by mistake. Um. He accidentally okay. laid on Umaga and uh, immediately got I, off. I don't. I don't yeah, know. I don't, what that I don't was know. About. Yeah. Could there be tension in the in Team Sexy? Of course now Umaga with full control in the far corner and a nice punch straight to the face of Charles Chungus. Uh Chungus' partner rather, Large Martinez. Oh what a mean DDT there. Yeah, By Charles Chungus. Chungus sweeps and the leg of the giant. Trying to get back in control. He's trying to get some form of control over this matchup. And a huge Irish whip out of the ring. If this was a, a battle royal, Umaga would be eliminated. Yeah, of course, but this is not a battle royal and a mean chop at the back of the Great Kali. Now, here we go. Let's see what's going to be happening here. Kali gets him up. He's done him in a submission hold. It's that double chicken wing we saw earlier from Snitsky. Yeah. Stretch muffler here. This could be it. Nice. Kali just lets go. Decides to uh, focus his intentions on Large Martinez. On his opponent comes SummerSlam. And now real break. Chungus trying to sneak a quick one over in the corner. On Umaga. Yeah. Now, uh oh. Wait a sec. It is big chop. Yeah, mean Kali chop going into a pin. Charles Chungus uh, took a, a second longer than I would have liked to uh, to pay attention to that. Yeah, just to break it up, and now Chungus in the cover, but Umaga just kicked him right in the face. And now Umaga, nice power slam there, modified power slam. And now yeah, Kali. nice power slam. He could probably go for a cover and get get the win here, but deciding yeah. to that he might get some more punishment. And Martinez looks kind of drained right now. He's taking a lot of a lot of damage in this matchup. Chung is now with the outside. Uh oh, it's two on one now. Yeah, I, I, I don't I don't like the odds here. Uh, he's going for cover two here. Two and no kick out at two. Oh. And now Umaga fighting with Nick Patrick over the, the, the speed of that count. And now Umaga, let's see what he's going to try to go for here. Big low blow from Martinez. Trying Martinez to even trying, the odds. Yeah, trying to do anything to get back in this matchup. Oh no! Ooh. Martinez actually accidentally struck by Chungus. Yeah. Um. Oh, and another struck muffler. Oh, wait a sec. No, he's got a choke. Is that a choke? Choke, uh, modified choke slam. Normally, yeah, he would do a one-handed choke slam, but I think Umaga is so heavy that he had to pull in the second hand for that. And unfortunately, that might have caused him to, uh, to, to, to not be able to get the complete, uh, force on that choke slam. And now, uh oh, Kali with a huge spike. I mean, Umaga yeah. with a spike. Big boot! And now let's see Some... what's happening here. Everything's going on. Uh-oh. Large Martinez not paying attention. This could be it. He and goes! Ladies and gentlemen, your winners, it's Team Sexy. 
and folks, yeah. I can I can reveal now that this coming Summer Slam it will be the Great Collie and Large Martinez inside Hell in a Cell. The first Hell in a Cell match um, ever in RTBW07 as your winners, Team Sexy. Move on yeah, a, to, uh, oh, sorry, what was that? An impressive win by Team Sexy. Um, Umaga keeping it a one-on-one -on -one match, keep, keeping the odds uh, even in his favor. But anyway, we'd like to thank everyone who came out here tonight. Yeah, we would. I've been Jess. And I'm Dom. And we'll see you guys at SummerSlam.